Hello people, welcome to another exciting episode of A Stand With Onozisi. And of course you know my name is Onozisi. Now this episode I will be talking about something very juicy. Something that pertains to some Christian brother. You're wondering what? And I'm sure some ladies can say, yeah, we want you to talk some sense into those guys. Don't worry. You're going to say everything you need to know and everything that needs to be said. But before I continue, I'd love you to meet my guest. We will go on a short break. And when I come back, I will introduce my guest to you. Thank you. So guys, welcome back. And it's time for you to meet my guest. In no particular order as usual, I have wonderful, gorgeous guests right here. Two ladies and one gentleman. I hope, I believe he is a gentleman. So I have Okeke Chiamaka. She's a salesperson with City SA Nigeria Limited, and she focuses on giving the girl child a platform. So welcome, Chiamaka. And I have Lolade Amunigun. She is a customer care agent with Fidesic Nigeria Limited. Thank you very much, Lolade, for coming. And the gentleman I have is Olalekon Ogundimo. He's an electrical engineer, and he is the founder of Neymar Mistro. And thank you for coming. Thank you. Jesus. You guys look very good. So straight to the point. The topic is that... Christian brother. That Christian brother that doesn't even have a focus for himself. Who goes about to say the Lord said to a girl and goes about to say the Lord said to another person and the same girl that sent him to another person and another person and then whoever says yes becomes his wife. That Christian brother that doesn't even know what he wants. He will say don't use makeup, don't use lipstick, don't use this, don't use that and check his wife she uses everything so what exactly is wrong with that christian brother who will go first what is wrong with you people with some let's not categorize every one of them so with some of you guys um thank you for that question mm. so you said christian brother mm. and uh, my name is Olaleko. You understand? In the church, may I love to do my own thing, my own way. Mm. Now, let's put aside you know, all these, these pre cocoa pre cocoa thing. The last time I checked, the Bible said I watch and pray. Okay. Even if you are going to pray, watch that sister. It's not a matter of you are doing uh, one kind of, you are praying and you are hoping that it should surface in the sky. This is how it should look like. Me, I'm not that kind of person. So, the Christian brother, I don't know what they want. But for me, I know what I want. So, if I'm in the church and I see somebody, I saw a lady. Now, everybody has their taste. Everybody knows what they admire in a lady. I cannot just come and be, I'll walk straight to you. Aside from the fact that uh, we, are, we are going to pray about it. Because there's something about me. I, I, I was reading the Bible someday and I got this remedy. That even all this will of God, will of God, will of God. tell anybody and I'm willing to stand anywhere to say this when God created Adam and Eve 
if was the perfect will. Will you do you accept it? Mm -hmm. But will messed it up. Mm. Does that mean God doesn't know what he's doing? Or it took, God actually brought in Eve. And when Adam came back to himself and said, This is the wife, this is the bone of my bone. But it doesn't work. But on some occasion, some people don't, most people are not Christian. And it's working. Now, now what is missing? Mm. It's about the ability that you have to make it work. What are the things you are bringing together? What are the things that you are trying to suppress? What are the things you are bringing up? What are the how are you trying to merge it together to make it work? Mm. That's just Can I ask a question? Okay. okay, in between you said, um, when you see a lady, like you walk up to her. So um, I would just like to ask, all the while you've been in church, how many ladies have you actually walked oh, up to? Oh, that, that was a good question. You know, I. Because it's it's looking like it's something you just do at random. Mm. You go to church, you see this baby, oh, and you walk up to her, you tell her stories, and then if it's like it's not working, go to the next person, you tell her the same story. And by the time you watch these people, they have a particular pattern. Mm. It's just the same thing, the story does not change. Okay. They okay. always ref the same okay. phrase. Okay. Okay. Let, 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 let me clear that up. Wait, don't bombard me, please. <laughs> let me answer. Let me answer, please. Let me answer. Now you said what how do now? I said Eve is a conditional statement. Okay. Now see, I'm the kind of person that in my church, I'm a privileged and music director. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So I want to make it so that you can, if you want to hit me wrong, we're here. But well, forget that, we're going to like. Now, I, I don't like looking into the choir because I know how that is going to affect me. Mm. So now, you like ushering, prayer? Not even there's, there's no specific place. Okay. I said, when I see one, mm. that is if I see one that I like, I will walk up to the person. Okay. Now, it's not a factor of, okay, I've tried this, I've tried this, I've tried this. I don't do that. But it's common with guys in church. Yeah, mm. it's common it's with common guys. Like, now, I know of a church where I used to worship before, the guy was a choir master. Now, mm. He has asked about practically all the ladies they had out like do you, I want you to date me. Oh, the, 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 God almost said, all. Yeah. God, God said. said. Yeah, God said. He said that the first one, God said, the second one, God said. Excuse me. How many times is God speaking to you? Okay, now. Thank God you were saying a music director in your church. Now <laughs> you're not facing us how many times. Like, like see, see, no, we're not. We're not facing you now. You are no, no, speaking no, on behalf of them. You know, I'm them. just trying to remove myself out so that <laughs> oh, I can okay. answer. The, I will answer it, but so I do not look. So the problem now. The, 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 the question is, why do they go about saying God said when He did not say? Okay, now. let's 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 look at it this way. All this uh, formal is just a formality, kind of God said. I call it strategy of picking out girls. Mm. Yeah, strategy. You just go to a church and you say, um, God said you're my wife. Excuse me, like, okay, like, is there another word? The world house can speak with you, like, can't someone just talk to you and pray about that girl? Don't you just like her? Must it be God said, God said, can't, it's just a strategy, I feel like, um, they use that to just deceive girls in church. And then I think it's more of psychology. Mm. Usually when you see people that come in through that, they check the people they are coming to meet. Mm. Number one, is it that you're a new, you know, maybe a first time um, a member or something like that? And then number two, they look at you. Okay, for me, I go to a very con uh, conservative church. My church is very conservative, but I don't look like it. Then these people look at you and they're okay, she doesn't fit the pattern of the people in mm. this church. So, and then they look at you again and they start you like, okay, I think I can get this kind of person by being very spiritual. Mm. She's the kind of person that likes, okay, maybe she feels so inadequate being in our midst. So they come with the story, you know, God said, and then if a lady that, you know, the married thing, you really want to get married and all that, and then once you hear God said, you're my wife, okay, they, jump. they get you, and then from there, the person keeps on, keep on going and all that. And then maybe along the line, if you find out that, oh, he's just kidding, he's just joking, you jump out and then start looking for the next target with the same criteria that he's looking out for. No, 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 wait, 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 no, let me clear this. this. Okay. Let me clear this. Now, you said, at least you've been saying this, God said, why have you programmed your mind to a brother coming in that format? God said, and you feel, and you feel, now see, I'm just trying to help those guys that always come with that and those ladies too that are 
always expecting that kind of, you know, that kind so of So you should person. not program your like, mind. It's like you program your mind to be that when somebody comes to tell you that God said, and you believe it is the image of God you I, are saying. Hello, that you is church. brother. You're, you're, okay, if you're, if, I'm, if you're going to meet me in a church, I believe, okay, yeah, you're a spiritual yeah, aunt, but well, you're there. Don't! Yeah, that's don't. it. Then you guys should stop wasting time. Don't mm. even ask them out. In fact, I would prefer you to just ask a random girl out there. Don't just come to church and deceive these girls. Okay. Yes. So now, my other question is, she said something that sometimes they use it as a strategy to they, they view you and see that perhaps you don't belong here or you feel you don't belong here. They know who they go to. They know who they go and meet and give that same story, that same God said thing. So now the thing is, why is it that most of these brothers see women as prey? Now see, look at it. When in the church, a lot of people are mixing a lot of things up in the church. Now, Church is not a place where perfect people are. Mm. Church is a place, you know, God said, come on to me. Oh, yeah. Now, there are some people that he is calling to come in. There are those people that are not perfect. Now, the Bible said, faith cometh by hearing and by hearing. Now, a lot of people will be in the church for 10 years and you'll be hearing the same sermon and they are not born again. Mm. And they, they, now, all the sermon, they cram it on the head, they know the scripture, they know the verses, but they don't have a personal relationship with Christ. So, I can use that format to come and meet you that God said. And it is because you are not born again. That's why you, are, you cannot discern that this guy is coming to chop me. Because if you are born again, you will discern that this guy is a cheat. He's just coming to, to weigh you. And mind you, you that you've been praying, that has been your prayer point. You will cry with so the pillow. Just, and wait, wait, let me say something. Let us, there, let, let there be one brother. And, will so, and the brother will just come and then. I and it's a God thing. of being born again or not, because I've seen so many so called born again babes that fall into this um, their trap. You know, some, no, some will make it so smooth. You know, when it comes to emotion, when it comes to emotional stuff, it's very dicey. You know, now you're not getting me now. If I want to talk about the born again I'm talking about, it's not the one that we talk generally. Can I say something? I think it's better we advise the ladies. When a man comes to you and says, God says, just ignore or probably still pray about it yourself. 